In today's video, we're discussing a magic card that has spiked over 480%, and it's all because of Duskmorn's pre-constructed commander deck, Endless Punishment. In the last couple of years, whenever a new pre-con commander deck comes along that players like, they buy it, of course, but what do they do with it? They may like the idea of that pre-con deck, but maybe not all the cards inside, so they tear it apart and they make it better. Welcome back, everyone. MTG Moxman here. Thanks again for hanging out with me on my channel today. And there's some crazy stuff going on with this deck, but we're going to take a look at one card in particular that is spiking up. Now take a look at this card. So here we have Underworld Dreams from 10th Edition. This card has an average price of $4.38. The market price is $2.66. A foil is $9. Now, of course, taking a closer look at this card, you'll see that it is a 3 black casting cost enchantment. It says whenever an opponent draws a card, Underworld Dream deals 1 damage to him or her. But this isn't the only version that's going up. If we take a look at the 9th edition white border one, you can see here the average price is $19.99, but the market price says $2.03, and a foil is $29.99. So what's going on with this card is actually kind of unique, and we haven't seen it for a while. So this card right now, it's a supply chain issue. There is supply and there's demand. All those players who have bought endless punishment decks have not been able to get the Underworld Dreams they need. They're looking all over the place. They're buying them on TCG Player. They're buying them from their local stores. And it's not that this card is super impossible to find. Maybe the version you're looking for is, but the price of all these cards is going up. Now, there's another one I want to show you, and it's for a reason, so take a look at this. So, of course, here's Underworld Dreams again, but this is Theros Beyond Death. This card is an uncommon when they put it in Theros Beyond Death. It's not a rare like it was originally. And you can see here it has an average price of $3.99. The market price is $3.26. And a foil is $6.99. Guys, this card is spiking across the board. And it comes down to how many are readily available for players to get into. And of course, it's all for one reason. One particular deck. And of course, that is Endless Punishment. If you were looking for this thing right now and you wanted to go shopping for it, you would notice that on TCG Player, it's about $90 US. Here in Canada, a local shop, it's $150. And that's because in the last couple of years, you've probably noticed that certain commander decks are more sought after than others. When the Sliver Hive one came out, it was like just gobbled up. When the Warhammer decks came out, there's one deck each time now that just seems to attract the audience and get people buying. But what also happens is the secondary market. A lot of people didn't realize that Forsaken Waste as a $5 card and now jumping into the 30 plus dollar range as a reserve list card would be suited so well to this deck. But as soon as players saw the deck, saw the concept of the commander, they dove right in. They went forward and said, we're gonna buy these cards up and now of course, as more players get into this set, as more commander players are diving into this particular commander, we're having a bit of a supply issue. Let's take a moment to recognize just how well Underworld Dreams works with Valgothith, the Harrower of Souls. Right? When you look at Underworld Dreams, it says you take a damage every turn for each card you draw. Okay? And then you look at the Harrower and you say this is a 4-4 four, four for 4. That's one red, one black, and two other legendary creature, elder demon with flying. You ward, pay two life. Whenever an opponent loses life for the first time during each of their turns, put a plus one, plus one counter on the Harrow of Souls and draw a card. So if you have a, another card out there helping synergize, if you have Underworld Dreams, and your opponents are all taking damage each turn, one just one point, every turn he's getting a plus one, plus one counter, and of course you're drawing a card. Now, uh, we know your opponents are going to deal with the Harrow of Souls as quick as they can, but that doesn't mean that Underworld Dreams or other cards like it are not still going to be on the board dealing damage. These are just a multi-level threat that has to be dealt with. And this isn't the first time, by the way. This isn't the first time this has come around. Because 
you may remember cards like this. This is Nekasar the Mind Razor, and this is from 2013. This card's like a buck 39. And when you take a closer look at this card, this, this one here is one of the earlier commanders, right? This is a 2-4 for 5. All right, legendary creature, zombie wizard. That's one red, one black, one blue, and two other. But it says, at the beginning of each player's draw step, that player draws an additional card. Whenever an opponent draws a card, Nekasar the Mind Razor deals one damage to that player. So again, it's that multi-turn punishment that keeps going around. And you think these are the only two cards? Guys, I'm sure you guys will be able to give me lists of cards of how amazing these are. Now, if you want to jump back for a second, though, let's not forget that the Harrower of Souls is really cheap if you just want to buy it on its own and build your own commander deck. You don't have to pay the $100 for the pre-con deck. You can find this card right now for $7.15 on TCG Player. If you're buying a few things anyway, you buy this card, and before you know it, you have a, a, the cornerstone piece of what you want to build. And then you can always build it later by taking time to buy the individual pieces as the prices drop and as things kind of come down to earth. I don't actually expect Underworld Dreams to stay at this insane level. I do believe that a lot of these prices will slowly drift down over time. And the reason I believe that is we've seen it with a whole bunch of other cards. The only real outliers right now, I'm going to be honest, is the reserve list card Forsaken Waste. It's really being stubborn about coming back down. It was a $5 card, then it went to $39. Last time I checked, it was $33. Somebody can put in the comment sections if that price has changed. But I'm looking at that card and saying, that's one of those cards that hasn't really changed. Underworld Dreams, though, is really just a supply chain issue. There's just too many people trying to buy it at the same time. And it's causing a bit of a spike in the market. But there were so many variations, including secret layers. And some of them are more expensive than others. Some people really want to bling out their decks and get a certain type of artwork on their card. I understand. I know players who love to have the OG original version from Legends. And that's like $60, $70 US to get that card. But there are players who like to do that. So as players dive into those expensive versions, and as the market starts resupplying, then you're going to see the prices start to drift down as demand slowly goes down. It doesn't have to be forgotten. Because often as players build these commander decks, you always get to step back for a while, play it and enjoy it. And then before you know it, you may be able to augment it, change it. Another card comes along that makes it even better or more synergized. Or you get to you know one up a certain piece inside the deck. And that's the amazing thing because with all these spikes in these commander sales, right, when these d new decks come out, these pre-con decks, we see cards like Underworld Dreams, not reserve list, but the surge in the market for these cards just goes through the roof and it seems to happen once or twice a year now with certain you know premium style decks like this one here is the most sought after from this particular series right so it seems to have that interest attached to it with everyone trying to play it and that just causes the market to react a certain way but over time and i do mean time like this one here is being a little more stubborn than i thought i'm saying about 120 days out you'll see things really calm down unless something else comes along that we're not aware of right now that makes the deck even more popular. But you don't know that. You don't have a crystal ball shaping what you're going to do. But with the prices of the singles from the pre-con deck, you can start cherry-picking the best cards you want, including the Harrower of Souls. And then after you own that card, your cornerstone, you start building out from that. I do it often with a lot of deck ideas I have, which is why I probably have 15, 20 decks in front of me right now that are all at some stage of completion. Most of them not even close to where I want them to be but I'm looking for particular cards and I'm willing to wait to get them. And a lot of players are as well. Other players like the excitement. They want to dive right in and build that deck right away. And because of that, we have the spikes in the market we're seeing right now. I mean, Underworld Dreams is a great card. It's going to be played for a long time. But at the same time, it got regulated down to uncommon, right? So I don't know if this surge in price will hold. And if it did hold, then you might see it get bumped up on a reprint schedule faster than normal because they probably don't want that card being a 10 15 dollar card especially when there's uncommons like that out there they'll be happy to reprint it and try to cash in some of the value but at the same time there will be tons of availability of this card i remember opening a whole bunch of these in theros beyond death so i'm sure there's lots out there for players it's just going to take a little while for it to come back online be patient it will be there but either way i am curious to see what you guys say in the comments section about this particular card and other cards like it have you been building one of these decks? Have you faced off against it? Because I have, and it went horribly. I really underestimated and didn't recognize just how big that card pool can be for Commander. And you're like, oh yeah, I remember that card. So it's kind of crazy. 
Um, thanks again for hanging out. I hope you found today's video fun and informative. And I look forward to reading the comments in the comment section, and I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. And of course, a big shout out and thank you to the fantastic patrons of my channel. Without those patrons out there, daily uploaded content would not be possible. So thanks again for that support, everyone. Whether you're one of my patrons or YouTube membership members, you're the reason these videos happen each and every day. But don't forget, we'll be back tomorrow with another video. Guys, have a great day. Play some magic. And always remember, bring a friend to magic. Well, I have to admit, that was an interesting one. We did talk about Underworld Dreams several weeks back. And to see the spikes go up like this, and to see stores who sold it for a dollar and now don't have any in stock. Um, and that's not on a buy list or anything. There's nobody wish listing it. They're just, you know, players are expecting that card to show up. Oh, you're, you're new here? This is the Ramble Jamble. This is where things just get talked about. You're welcome to stay. Just clean up the room when you're done and, you know, turn off the lights and stuff so Mrs. Mox doesn't get mad. I got some coffee here. I think this is one of those days where you look back and you go, these new decks, remember when like Sliver Hive was missing too? These pre-con decks are like missing pieces that you would think would be there. And it's causing that market reaction on the secondary market. Honestly, I kind of thought that card was going to be in there and so did a lot of other people. But then when you saw the deck list, it started getting bought. And now that people actually have the deck and have played against it, more people now want to get Underworld Dreams as well as other cards like Forsaken Waste. Um, I'll be curious to see how this plays out in the next couple of days, though. I think the price are going to start calming down. I just don't think it'll drop as low as people hope it will. Uh, it's, you know, it'd be great if it was like a $2 card. You know, that's what I'm saying. Anyway, thanks a lot for hanging out. Thanks for being here. I got to go clean up. I got to take care of things. You guys will get the lights when you leave. Good, good.